name is Ulster and welcome back to Rick and Morty Season 3 Episode 7. And uh, yeah, we are back with Rick and Morty and let's get right into this. Hey Morty, you ready for our adventure to the lost city of Atlantis? Ready as I'll ever be, Rick! Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello, I'm Rick K22. This is my Morty. We're going from reality to reality, asking Ricks to contribute to the Citadel of Ricks Redevelopment Fund. What are you, stupid? We're done with the Citadel of Ricks. I was uh, never on board with it in the first place. That's why I murdered everyone in charge and left it to rot. Oh, that was you. They tried to murder him first. Oh, jeez. Well, you'll be happy to know that the council's gone now. Yeah, he knows. He murdered them. You want to rein in yeah, your Morty true. every day. The Citadel of Ricks Redevelopment Fund. Donate. Morty, he's not gonna... Donate. You're pitching the policeman's ball to a black teenager here. Let's go. You don't have to be a dick. I think you know that's not true. Jeez, I didn't know there was still Ricks and Morty's living on the Citadel. I wonder what their day-to-day -day lives are like. Well, you can keep wondering. Now. I think this episode's called Rick Lannan. I'm not really sure yet. Anyone continuing to explore the Citadel is either stupid or one of the unfortunate millions held hostage by their terrible ideas. Man, I'm glad I'm not one of them. Nice. Ah, a little bit of a Guardians of the Galaxy. I like that. I think it's, I just much more prefer the second movie. Because they had a point. Just one day remains before our newly democratic citadel elects its first president. It's anyone's race among the Rick candidates, but a certain other candidate should be getting at least one vote for most adorable. That's right, the Morty Party candidate's still in the race, and you just gotta love him for that. Here you see him in his little Morty suit waving. Isn't that adorable? Little jackass. Uh, yeah, I think we actually have the audio for his speech here. Oh, jeez, oh man, I'm gonna lose the election and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good run, sir, but I think it's time to pull out of the race. I feel pretty confident about tonight's debate. You shouldn't, sir. You should be terrified. Maybe you should find a little faith. Young man. Yeah, true. You don't pay me to have faith. You don't and pay we're the same pay. age. <laughs> we're the same age. Oh. Oh, sorry. I, I was expecting a Rick partner. Lesson one, rookie. Expect the unexpected. Now get in. Morty's our human. Get the f off the car, you ridiculous animal. <laughs> the election's got these yellow shirts more riled up than a picture day Jessica. That's pretty harsh, sir. So report me. Nobody gives a. F Look, just saying. Makes me a little sad to hear a Morty cop calling Morty's animals. Well, it makes me sad to hear another Rick cop buying into his sensitivity training. Well, I'm glad to know there's more like me. Oh, there was one. Why do you think that seat was empty? Robbery at Fifth End <laughs> Avenue. Fifth End. <laughs> That's Morty Town. Unit Seven responded. <laughs> Good idea, Rick. Good idea, Rick. This is a great adventure. This is a great adventure. I love being your new Morty. I love being your new Morty. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Smith. Almost as amusing as when your first Rick was decapitated on Zorpathian 9. Or was that your third Rick? How many Ricks have you had? Five. Mm -hmm. I see. So you are top of the class in something. Tomorrow you'll be transferred to your new Ricks. Hopefully they will be your last. Yes, slow Rick. Tall Morty. D did I graduate this time yet? Anything's possible, tall Morty. <laughs> I guess we won't be seeing each other after this, huh? I say we make our last day count. I say we go to the wishing portal. That's a myth. It's not a myth. My first Rick's towards Morty knew a Rick who's Morty went there. If we're not here for graduation, our butts are going to wind up in Morty Town. I thought your last Rick fused you with a lizard, not a chicken. Okay, Ooh. fine. I'm in. Me too. What the hell? I thought I saw a fly. Uncool, bro. Listen up, Nets. I've been your supervisor for five years, but all shitty things must come to an end, and I have been promoted to regional manager. Yay. Yeah, I feel the same way. May we never meet again. Of course, that makes the position of supervisor available, so as of next week, the ass you'll be kissing will be that of K83, affectionately known as Cool Rick. I know I'm new to the Citadel, and some of you might not think I put in my time, but what can I say? I'm Cool Rick! Yo! <laughs> Check me out! All right. Knuckleheads, any questions? All right, then. Back to work, you gold rickers. <laughs> she wanted to ask questions. Man, you aren't Bradley the waiter's right, bro. Without a side to kick, they just start kicking. They were they were about my height, around 14 years old. Oh, think their shirts were yellow? Yeah, oh, what is that? that down. Any mutations, Morty. augmentations, uh, three eyes, a tail, maybe a buzz cut? No, just four normal Mortys. Normal? Put it in your blog. Let me turn over a few rocks. Oh, jeez. Hey, what's going on, fellas? Oh, jeez, man, nothing, man. We're just hanging out and stuff. I hear that. Oh, jeez. I guess I'm supposed to be figuring out who robbed the store. 
car across the street, but ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. Ah, uh, jeez, man, that sucks that your Rick's making you do that. He's not my Rick. He's my partner. Ah, uh, jeez. Well, maybe the uniform makes a big difference. Who am I to say? To me, he just looked like a sidekick. Ooh. Call me a sidekick one more time. Call me a sidekick, man. Come on, ah, oh, jeez. The hell, I paid a wall. It was the Morty Town Locos, man. The, the Morty Town Locos. Uh, uh. Do you realize how many codes you just violated? Ah, uh, jeez, Rick. What do I know about knowing stuff? Get in the f car. More lasers. You can take more time to answer the question if you like. Okay, Juggling Rick, how would you solve the Citadel's financial crisis? First off, can I just say that I believe this Citadel is the greatest in the entire multiverse. Now, I believe the answer to your question has three parts. First, education spending must get much higher. But it has to be balanced with defense. Whoa, can we fact check this, please? Oh, Never mind, who am I kidding? This race is over. And that's how you run a Citadel. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Planet Morty. The number of displaced Mortys is soaring, while Rick's satisfaction levels are plummeting, and the divide between the two groups has never been wider. Solve that one real quick. <laughs> I don't see a divide between Rick's and Morty's. Oh, shocker. <laughs> I'd like to offer a rebuttal? <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I think we can all agree on one thing. Well, it came out as two things, but you get the idea. <laughs> you guys finished? The division I see is between the Rick's and Morty's that like the Citadel divided and the rest of us. I see it everywhere I go. I see it in our schools, where they teach Mortys we're all the same because they're threatened by what makes us unique. I see it in our streets, oh, where they give guns intro. to Mortys. So we're too busy fighting each other to fight real injustice. I see it in our factories, where Ricks work for a fraction of their boss's salary, even though they're identical and have the same IQ. The Citadel's problem isn't homeless Mortys or outraged Ricks. <laughs> you're looking for work i can offer you a very enticing compensation package first let's talk benefits daddy loves you that's daddy's good girl your life is a lie man all your life's are lies don't you get it they told us we were special because we were ricks but they stripped us of everything that made us unique we know how you feel we're working stiff ricks just like you but our assembly line is justice what are your demands i, I, I want a portal gun unregistered untraceable with enough food to take me off this goddamn prison the media's outside we'll keep them there anyway so yeah the suspect says the citadel is a lie built on lies and some other shit I say appreciate the life you have because it can always be worse. Back to you, Ricks. Thank you, Rick 716C. That guy, tell me about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in election news and unexpected turn of events as Morty from the Morty Party soars to the top of the poll. Morty, 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 Morty. Yes, Morty, what's your original reality and where's your Rick? Gosh, we moved around so much it's hard to remember. I see every Rick as my Rick. I hope they see me as their Morty. Another, please, with less water. Hey, cheer up, pal. A Morty's gonna be president. Imagine this kisser getting blamed for everything. I guess I should have had more faith. It's not faith you need. It's fear. What's this? What is it's that? Secrets. Well, well, what do you think it is? Look at how I'm dressed. Have you taken aim at the system or you're bringing all for your safety? I'd rather live in hope than fear. If I had to fear anything, I'd fear other people being afraid of fear itself. But no, I'm not afraid. Hey, Rick Man, when there's a Morty president, you gonna lick my balls or what? Shit, yeah, grandson, you keep me peeling squab squabs and slipping nib nibs. I'll lick whatever ain't nailed down. Hands in the air! What the hell, man? What the hell in hell? You guys doing a little chemistry homework with Grandpa? Is this what I think it is? Food like portal fluid. Guess his math was off. Search the place. Are, are you my new Rick? It's okay, Morty. Ooh. Jesus, he stabbed me. He got me bad, Morty. It's okay. You're okay. You were right. <laughs> Everything I learned at the academy was. Doesn't matter. Nothing's wrong with putting your faith in a Morty. You just gotta pick the right one. Why is there a crib in here? Something they do to make you feel bad. Boy, I got us knee deep in paperwork, huh? Go to the car and grab a medipack. Let me worry about this. Morty's killing Morty's. Mm. Almost. Got it. Oh, hey, y'all get the hell away from my damn mega fruit. Oh, Sick of boy. I don't wear this damn damn hat. Commit to this rural character so you can eat for free while you come of age. I think oh, we should come of age. To a reality where they're, we're all wearing a bunch of French toast with boobies. I bet at least two plates with a what? bunch of fry, fi, flies everywhere. Yeah, I bet it goes nowhere. Flies. I bet it's a big hole where the Citadel dumps all its broken dreams. I Slick, mean, why do you have to be so maybe. dramatic? You want to know why? Because of this. I'm part of an experimental line of Mortys with a drama implant. How do you think it feels, Fat Morty, to know that no matter where I go, I'll always be the one that makes everybody sad and a little bored? Slick, that implant isn't who you are, okay? You also roll up your sleeves. I thought I was left-handed, Morty. Then you should use your left hand to eat more vegetables. 
Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> Great to meet you. I'm a plumber, sir. I'm a Rick and I'm a plumber. That doesn't sound like Rick work. You didn't come to the Citadel to be a plumber, did you? <laughs> I sure didn't, sir. Mr. Morty, Mr. Morty, I cloned myself so you could kiss me as a baby. This is just like a Morty baby. <laughs> hey, did you uh, end up getting a new job? Yeah, I did. Assassinating you. Oh. Killing Morty's. Okay, man. Okay, we got your portal gun. What the hell's he doing? Uh, where, where am I? A bad place, but you're going to a better one soon. Hey, hey! No, 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 no! God damn it! A portal to the Blender Dimension? That's the oldest trick in the book. I'm a Rick. I'm more Rick than any of you. Then you should know you just killed your only leverage. Then come and get me, motherfuckers! <laughs> I'm Rick D. Sanchez the Third, owner of this here wafer establishment, and I say that the Rick in there is right. He's more Rick than any of you. He's a terrorist. What Rick isn't? The Citadel was founded by Ricks for Ricks to be free. What's your name, young man? Rick. And I'm What's same age as me, I know. Man. How long have you worked here? Fifteen years? Young what man, the hell sir. have we become? Whatever time you were gonna make him serve, he served it. It ends now. Come with me, friend. Where are we going? To your new life, which starts with walking the f out of here. Yo, J22, give him hell! <laughs> There's a Rick that held a factory hostage after murdering his boss and several co-workers. The factory made cookies, flavored them with lies. He made us all take a look at what we were doing, and in the bargain, he got a taste of real freedom. We captured that taste, and we keep giving it to him so he can give it right back to you and every bite of new Simple Rick Freedom Wafer Selects. Come home to the unique flavor of shattering the grand illusion. Come wow. home. To simple Rick. It is real. <laughs> That's harsh. After you. <sighs> that is fucking harsh, guys. Oh my god. There it is. The I just got portal. back from watching they say for your wish to come adult. true, you have to give up something really important. For me, that's my panini maker. I wish for a million sandwiches. And yes, I see the irony. I guess I wish I had something cooler than this dumbass surfer necklace. I wish incest porn had, had a more mainstream appeal for, for a friend of mine. None of those things are going to happen, you know. Morty wishes never come true. Maybe. Not on the Citadel. Then why did you bring us here? Because I wish that would change. I wish anything about this life would change. Well, I well, hope you're putting you know, something pretty goddamn never, important yeah. in there. Me too. But I doubt it. Somewhere nice. Garbage dump. Stand. Back. You had to be stopped. 
happy? He couldn't, he couldn't be allowed to win. Then you should have worked on your aim, bro. He's alive? No, no, no. You gotta listen to me. I, I worked for him. I was his campaign manager. That Morty is not what he seems. Yeah, well, no Morty seems like a president. He won? Yeah. It was a blowout. I would hardly call it a blowout. It was almost close enough to trigger a recount. Jesus, what are you, joke security now, too? <laughs> Why am I still here? I already confessed to everything. Your case has been reviewed. You're free to go. But I violated at least a dozen departmental codes. New department, new codes, new citadel. Did we miss graduation? Where are the new rigs? No graduation, no new rigs. The school's curriculum is changing. To what? I don't know and I don't have to know. I've been fired. Good luck, turds. Holy crap, Slick's wish came true. Sorry I'm late, Mr. President. Had a little crisis at work. Worth it! It's no problem. Uh, a little more off the top. You were saying, Garment District Rick? We were mm. saying, President Morty, that we don't care who sits in that seat. A Rick, a Morty, a goddamn Jerry, doesn't matter. We've been running the Citadel since before the Council, and you'll find that we're still running it now. Does he really speak for everyone here? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's important to be clear. Raise your hand if he speaks for you. Enough off the top. I don't know. Is it? Yes, yes, goddamn it. Yes. Great. Good. This seems like a good time for a drink and a cold, calculated speech with sinister overtones. A speech about politics, about order, brotherhood, power. But speeches are for campaigning. Now is the time for action. Oh. see her again by the way hey um still not curious about what might have happened at that crazy citadel place Psh, not at all morty that place will never have any bearing over our lives ever again unlike that mermaid puss yeah we're going back for yeah. seconds we're gonna yeah. do that shit every week oh, man. man that was atlantis oh, shit. did you get any of that what like that was just so crazy oh my god oh fuck so essentially an evil Morty usurped to power and like shit's just gonna get so real after this and I'm so sorry I forgot that uh, this is an old format so I didn't really change this until like the end. I'm so sorry about that but I guess it's a, just a nice format in there that this is hashtag Walter X. Anyway, um, so yeah man there's gonna be loads of like uh snowball effects and everything and i think this might be their their best episode like this is all leading to something i was just so great to, to watch and uh, i'm just at a loss of word because like i just came up from like watching bojack horseman as well like there's so much so much feels there as well and i was like oh my god this is so fucking crazy that uh, uh marty became a totalitarian and a dictator and you know like Essentially, the the campaign Morty tried to to kill him, to assassinate him, because you know he he knew this was gonna happen. And essentially, we have a Morty Hitler right now. So, ah, fuck, we'll just have to see where it's gonna go. Like, um, so yeah, guys, this is about it. Um, I, again, I'm sorry I had to change the text in the last minute, but. 
yeah, that's about it, guys. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like it if you liked it. Uh, again, I may have to, uh, you know, uh, edit this for copyright reasons. But you can find the unedited version on with me this Saturday as usual. Uh, so yeah guys this is about it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next Rick and Marty and also the next Bojack Horseman and also uh, Breaking Bad. So that's it and I will see you there. Bye.